Hey guys, today back with another video, and today we're playing Scam Mechanic. This time, we're in creative, but we will be going back into the survival world in a minute. So today we'll be focusing on making a watering system, so I've designed one in creative, just so everything's ensured and we know that we're not about to make a failure. So in this case we've got the plants, or the soil crops, which I've measured and everything, which is green. Um, and it's really cheap because this sensor only needs to be level 1. Hard piece is going to be getting a level 5 piston, uh, which is going to be very annoying. But as you can see, it works. Uses a lot of water, but it's fine because it actually is faster. But um, we're gonna have to get all these water pumps, which is not gonna be easy, guys. Uh, the wheels, we already have one, that's just not too hard. And then we don't really need this logic gate, it's only just to make it look a bit better make a more, bit more sense but we don't need that logic gate all right i'm gonna go into the survival world now see you in a minute all right guys we are back so first let's just check how expensive this stuff is so piston 10 metal block two some oil one component kit and two circuit boards that's not too bad i'm sure i can handle that switch we already have a switch uh, metal block one, glass block, circuit board, and two glue for a sensor. Now here's one that I'm worried about. Oh, that's very expensive. Ten beeswax. That's going to be very annoying to get. And then how about the vacuum pump? Okay. So I'm just going to quickly write this down. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, first we're going to go... Oh, we also need a water container. Uh, that's not too bad. It's only one. So we're going to uh, do a time lapse of us getting the water container vacuum pump. Uh, see you in a moment. Bye. Okay guys, we are back. Uh, so I managed to get a few of the pieces. So we've got two vacuum pumps. Very nice. Two switches, one for the farm, one for the vacuum pumps. We didn't actually manage to get the water container yet, uh, but we'll be getting that in a minute because we're gonna go do a farming session. 
Um, so, let's just see how much we can upgrade these pistons. So, can we max it out? Yes, we can. And then if we just get one more of those, I think that'll be fine. Okay. So with a bit of farming, I think that'll be pretty easy. Now, before we go farming, we're just going to quickly go over to the water and get some, well, water. From the ocean. So, be back in a second when I get to the ocean. Okay guys, we're back at the ocean. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to grab these vacuum pumps. And... leave this to collect some water I'll let it collect up like four stacks so we'll be back in a minute when we have a few stacks okay guys and we are back so I'm just gonna quickly pick this up what Oh, of course. Um, and let's go. Uh, I'm just going to pick up this stuff. Got some crude oil, glue clams. A few more glue clams. So hopefully that'll be enough glue. Oh, even more glue clams. Okay. So we're going to just go back to base now to the car slap this back on the car and then go do some uh exploring for some beeswax and circuit boards and stuff like that because we are low on resources so start the looting see you in a second enjoy the time lapse
Well, hey guys, and I did it again. Yep, another second, another episode in a row. Oh wait, is this in a row where I have went to the start? Okay, guys, continue. Okay guys, so I'm just going to make a quick cut here um, as we wait for maybe some beeswax to respawn but I'm not too sure whether that's how it works so we'll see. I'm just going to see you in a minute. Alright, bye. Alright guys, and we are back. So we didn't manage to get the beeswax yet, hopefully we'll get it in a minute. But we're going to just start crafting. So, what exactly do we need? We're going to need water pumps. So for water pumps we mainly need metal block. So let's just craft a load of these. And let's see how much ember do we have. Let's, let's look at how many component kits we have. Oh yeah we have plenty of component kits. Ember. Do we have any ember? Oh of course we do because they stacked it all up in the house. Or in the house. Panic station even.
with physics. I'm just really hoping that I did some maths wrong and I actually don't need that much water, not water, beeswax, but feeling that I was right. So guys, we'll be back in a minute with either good news or annoying news. See you in a minute. Okay guys, we're back. It looks like we got a bit lucky right next to the base, right here, we found a ton of beeswax. So I'm sure we will be fine. Uh, there's even more over here, which is nice. So, let's just go back to crafting. Uh, let me just collect all this. So, we're going to need five water pumps. Two, three, four, one more. And yes, we have a perfect amount. So, yeah, that's not going to take ages to craft or anything. We'll be back in like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, let's not time lapse this because it'll be quite a while. Alright, see you in a minute. Okay then guys, so while we're waiting for a lot of this stuff to craft, and as you can see I have maxed, not maxed out, I almost fully upgraded the uh, craft bot. While we're waiting for that stuff to be made, we are going to take these water bu water containers, some wood, and we're going to make a water collection system uh, just so we have something to do. And we're not going to have to do this in a minute. So we want this to be completely safe from bots, so we're going to keep it plenty of space up. Before we take it down, Just add a bit more, and uh, now final depth down there. So we're just gonna uh, rotate this, so then we can get <coughs> all the inputs in the water. Place down this, and another one right there. And we're gonna make a switch for this, but for accessibility, I'm gonna place it on the farm. Half these walks could just, you know. Yeah, run. Thank you. So, let's start building the foundations for our watering system. So, for this, I actually just noticed I'm gonna have to move this end row of crops to the side because it's just gonna be really hard to build if we don't do that. But we can work around that by just doing this. So this should be easily expandable. As long as we keep everything five crops wide which is the key thing about this which if we don't do uh, we're gonna have some issues so we want to set a baseline for everything to roll on so we're gonna have these side railings to make sure that the pistons do not sag and misfire the cannons, because that'd be very bad. So that's step one. Step two is going to be pretty easy, because all we need to do is line this up with the middle and build literally a straight line from one part to the other and then find 
center point. And now place it every two blocks, which should line up perfectly with our crops. Until we hit the edge, where here we don't actually have some crops. So as you can see here, that now, come on, lines up with that. And we're going to use that to detect when to fire the uh, water, water cannons using the sensors. So we have all of our parts now. So we're going to start off, guys, by making the actual pushing system, which I'm going to leave plenty of space for expansion. So we have piston, piston. And now ideally, I might actually craft another piston, just quickly. Let's see if I have all the stuff. Where's pistons? Piston, there. Um, blocks. Okay guys, we'll be back in a second. I'm just going to craft another piston, uh, just so we can expand the farm later. Okay guys, we are back and we got a piston, so we're just going to place this last piston right there, and we are going to want to make a straight line of wood blocks splitting the edge blocks, or just saving resources, and we're going to want to line up these water cannons with the dirt. So you want to see what sags at the least. So as you can see here, I probably should have placed these pistons a bit better, which I'm going to do, because uh, I should have uh, counted in the center point. So let's replace these pistons. <coughs> One. I'll replace the two and then three. Let's retry that. Leaving out the last one. Leaving out the last one. And that is going to have a lot less sag on the sides because it's going to be more balanced. As you can see here say that okay and then we want another one here here um then one there and I'm gonna place down the switch now and quickly Okay, so here's always the annoying piece, which is connecting all of these water cannons to the water container. Okay, so we've got all these water cannons now. We are going to want to find the middle one and place a sensor like this. That's going to be very important that the sensor isn't obstructed at the start, because that'd be very bad. Now, as you can see, this sags quite a lot. And that is why I was supposed to put these railings in line, but apparently I didn't measure that out correctly. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually extend that out now and place a wheel on the side for balance 
and then I'm also going to do that on the opposite side. So I'm going to have to quickly go back to the mechanic station and grab the wheel. So we'll be back in a second. See you in a moment. Okay then guys, so we're back and as you can see we've got this. So we're just going to quickly adjust that. Now ideally we'd have the second pair of wheels as well on the other side so that it's not sagging forward but we're gonna have to live with it like this oh well it's not gonna affect too much so now we're gonna grab this logic gate and put it right there now we're gonna connect all of the water guns to the logic gate and we are going to we have our switch right here so i'm going to place this a bit better so all the <sighs> delete the wrong thing it happens to me all the time okay so i'm actually going to delete this switch right there and place it over there because it's also to the watering system what I want to say is I want it to turn on all of these but I want to make sure that these guns will fire when the sensor is on and the water gun uh, and the button is on so that will make the water gun fire so I think we might be ready for our first test run we just need to size these quickly so I'm gonna just turn this off like I said disconnect that and apparently I just removed all connections to that sure I guess okay so uh, as you can see I've disconnected the sensor so it won't fire but I'm just gonna to make sure I get all the sizes correctly, I'm going to start by turning these both to max. And then I'll deal with the upgraded one in a minute. So let's just turn this on. Uh, what? Okay, that's fine. Perfect. So as you can see here, it ends off lined up with this almost perfectly. So to fix this issue, uh, let's see what will happen if I connect this or let fire. Okay, that's fine we can live with that so now if I was just to connect this in there ideally when I turn this off it shouldn't stop firing yes so I think we might be ready for our first test run let's see how this will go um, and again I'm gonna just move this switch again because it's really um, in a bad place right now that's a lot more easy to access. Alright, three, two, one. I forgot to connect it up to the pistons. Rookie mistake. Okay, attempt two. Three, two, one. And everything's quickly watered. And when I turn it off, it doesn't fire again. Nice. About how much water did that use? refilled very quickly so I'd say that was a rousing success so that's gonna be the end of this episode I think um, all right see you guys in the next one this episode is definitely a lot longer because it's a lot more fun with resources but it just pays off the last one which is a lot shorter all right then guys bye